the one and only Xalophony back with Mario for another Duel of the Gods. He's using his favorite Nordic Gods versus my sacred feasts. So... Beasts. You're oh, not Xalophony. Yeah. Xalophony! <laughs> So let's see, um, ooh, do I want to go first or second with this deck? Um, let's go first. You, you, you told me you already de designed this deck, so. I did make a couple adjustments since the last time you saw this thing, because there was a couple weaknesses when I fought this against the Egyptian God deck. Um, so I tried to fill out a couple things just to make that stronger. Also, uh, last time when I brought out Armatile, he was mostly useless, so I threw in a little card to, a uh, couple cards to support him a little bit. Um, but let's see what we got here. Well, huh. We're not going to do anything with that right now. Um, but right now we're sitting on the uh, setup with our, you know, our good old boy, uh, Oreo. Yeah, that guy. Oh, and are those traps? Yes, they are. Or are they? So that's what we're banking on right now. That's that's chapter one of this duel. Oh, jerk. <laughs> Let's see, you would never intentionally put your most important in the middle, so let's get rid of the side cards. Sure. Actually, let me try something out here. Let me try to flip up my Statue of Anguish pattern just so it's face up here. And Imperial Custom. Will I protect it? We're about to find out. Hey, um, why not? Destroys. It just okay. destroys Imperial Custom. So unfortunately, I don't get the best part of Anguish Pattern by activating him right then and there, but at least I protected him. He's at least a wall for me now. I'll take it. You were going to destroy yeah. it anyway. See, guys, I did something smart. Hit, him, hit me, comments. Hit me with every flaw I make. I don't care. Do it. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, right now I don't got anything else, though. Um, I could do something, but I'm going to be patient here. So let's just wait it okay. out. I'll activate... Left near. All right. If you remember what this card does, I just get to get a Nordic monster in my hand. All right. So we're each getting ourselves set up right now. I feel like you're getting set up a little faster than I am. Well, I can do this. Okay. Get yourself some more goats. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I can put. I fought Nordics. You hold them like three times, and I always forget like what the big guys actually do. I know they got a lot of attack points, but... And I know that you bring them out by getting rid of three of your little beasties. And I know that, um... That, yeah, that guy's a tuner, and when he's in the graveyard, you can do stuff with him. But what's he gonna do? Oh, well, I'll activate this just in case you get a little cheeky and try to bring out a trap monster. What's it? What What do you activate? What's it do? All face-up monsters on your side of the field lose their effects. Oh, okay. I like it, I like it. Yeah, so, Anguish Pattern wasn't going to be able to use his effect right then and there anyway. Uh, I, was, I was thinking you might have put, like, I don't know, like a Swamp Mirror or something. No, up it's, and it's just, very possible, yeah. It's a good choice. So I'd rather, yeah, so I'd rather just be the safe route. Don't worry, much worse. You know how you said I wouldn't put the middle card down as my favorite? You yeah. were so wrong, baby. Fairy Box! <laughs> no! <laughs> to... Gun no! Here. Destroy the Fairy Box! <laughs> no, not my Fairy Box! Does it come I back next turn or something? Two turns. Two turns? Okay, worth. Completely worth for you. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, I have had such bad luck with Fairy Box. When we Absolutely. first tested when we first were testing out Xyla's GX deck, I had an advan clear advantage. Then he brings out Fairy Box. I yeah. kill myself. <laughs> ah, you bastard. Yep. Hope you didn't hope you didn't need those. Let's see. So you what know did I very do? well I did. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know. Um, okay, so... Ooh, sweet. Okay, so I finally can do stuff. I got Reinforcement of the Army. So I can get myself an Armageddon Knight to my hand. Alright. And when I summon... Uh, it's not going to be the best, but it's going to be something. So let's summon him out. And I can activate this effect. I can at least get some chip damage on you. So I want to send, um, I suppose, my Dark Summoning Beast to the grave. So let's go ahead and do that. It would be better if you were allowed to fuse the uh, Sacred Beasts in your hand. So yeah. that way you can go straight into Armatile. That would be a little <laughs> more usable. Um, but yeah, let's just go for an attack with Armageddon Knight. It's just a slow setup right now, you know? Doing our thing. Yeah. And you're going to get your guy back in, in another turn after this one, so... Ooh. Yeah. Hmm. So I got to get something out next turn. 
Unlikely. Oh man, scary. Well, you kind of refreshed my hand a bit, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair, you could kind of use those cards. Oh, he's already back. Yikes. Yeah, at the oh, end phase. Come on. The man, I wish turn. I had. I should definitely just put some um, standard cards in this deck. Like, just put some regular X's in here, because I just got another Armageddon Knight. Um, let's see. Ah, uh, so, yeah, that would have been a smart thing, huh? So I got. Are these guys warriors? Oh, uh, so I can't even summon the guy that needs fiends. Okay. Because I'm only going to bring a dude to my hand with Dark Summoning Beast, unfortunately. Yes, I'm in a rough place right now. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Just set up walls. Walls on walls. Walls on walls. So, so far, I feel like I've been getting uh, poor luck with my drawing. Because I haven't drawn a Dark Summoning Beast. And I haven't gotten anything that lets me bring him to my hand. And I have that kind of stuff. So, we'll see. Right now, Thor's about to go in, though. Oh, boy. Even more. Uh, what you getting? I guess there's no obvious choices for you. Yeah. Just a little something-something. Yeah. Now, let's activate you. Yep. Once again, not gonna matter, but safe move. Yeah, just to be English safe. pattern smart to get rid of. Yeah, just in case you get that one trap monster and get the yeah, use effect. Yeah, exactly. I kind of think I'm running into a... Oh, wait, no. You said the other one was an Armageddon Knight. I did so. say that, so you caught me. Wait. I can't stop the attack, actually. Yay! Take your 400 life points of damage. I can't stop the attack. Why can't I stop the attack? It doesn't matter. Yeah, so I could have summoned him normally, um, but I already have a Dark Summoning Beast in my graveyard. And really, the only one that I'm going to be able to easily summon from my hand, if I'm lucky, is um, Oreo, so... Let's see. Okay, cool. We're gonna set down a card. And let's see. It's just not gonna do any good in my hand right now. Do I switch him to attack just to take out your, your beastie there? It's gonna be life points on me, but it might help me out to prevent you from getting more stuff out. I think I'm gonna risk the life points. We'll do it. Or beta yeah, trap in the end, it one could, or the other. It could be uh one of those things where a little bit of light points just mattered. Yeah. Oh wait, it's that one's the one one sent to the grave. Okay, he gets banished. Never mind. Oh, what was that effect? It was another Gungnir. Oh, okay. Well, I did use that card at least. <laughs> Imperial custom again. Um, Would have been nice and to keep one of those, but. Yeah. Oh, you only have enough. two in the deck, I'm guessing. <laughs> Yeah, I think it is two in the deck. Um, but they, yeah, that's the funny thing about Imperial Custom. It's used to protect the other traps, and, well, you're destroying it with your trap-destroying card. Okay, well, that's going to be all I can do. I'm going to take a hit here. And, oh, man, my deck's moving real slow right now. It's real slow. Yeah, like, Honestly, you know, if I just draw a Dark Summoning Beast, I'll be, so, I'll be in such good shape. But I'm not drawing it, so it is what it is. Yeah. It's not going to help me much. Or is it? Darn it, yeah. Now without a monster on the field, even if I draw a Dark Summoning Beast, we're in trouble. Oh, man. That's the thing. I do have to turn this deck into like a more reliable style of deck. Like, you got spell destruction, and I got none of that. This is all just trying to bring out Armatal still. And it's less Armatal inclusive as it used to be. But at the same time, it's still built around that. So. Yeah. And another thing is, oh yeah, as you just back. said... Gungnir just is a utility card that just can target anything for the cost of one monster, so it is a good effect yeah, for that, and, that and the cost one. returns a turn, two turns later, so. Yeah. Well, I just drew my boy Oreo, but, you know, you've been taking out all my spell and traps, so. Can't do yeah. anything. Alright, I think round one's gonna go to you here. Might have to do another one. Because I, I couldn't do anything, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> And before the comments are all like, you could have just done this and why? <laughs> so hit me up at any time at those, those moments. Hit me up. Hit me up. Do it. Even I, if you I want time stamp Those it, moments don't exist. It. I play flawlessly. Flawlessly. Time, you, he wants a time stamp. He wants a time stamp. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Would have been nice. Just got another Statue of Anguish pattern, but nothing I can do with it, unfortunately. Yeah. So I'll Did play my Fallen Paradise. Yeah. Right, get you break. 
and might as well, since we already have Oreo in our hand, we'll just pull one of the other dudes to the hand. Let's get a uh, ravioli. <laughs> All right, sick hand, sick game. Ooh, you had something you can activate there. I've been sitting on like all the late game. I got a final attack orders here and everything. Yeah. But uh, it's not gonna help me. Let's do this, and let's add you to the hand. All right. Then I'll normal summon my Mara. Q. And the thing is, Mara is a unique little tuner because Mara can tune with monsters in the hand. Oh, that is insane. That is real good. Oh, yeah. So you got your Loki and Thor out here. All right. Yeah. Now fight each other. Do it. <laughs> it's not the movie, Zylo. Oh, and I couldn't even solemn him. Oh, yeah, because I'm broke on life points. <laughs> 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 That's why. <laughs> well, I could have defended myself for one round if I could have solemned, but I'll just let you go through. I could have flipped up Statue of Anguish Pattern just as a wall, but nah. Oh, you could end right now. Loki's uh, battle battle phase effect. Well, Loki would have been dead if I could have solemned. That's the thing. Yeah, but if you try to just put up like the Anguish Pattern just to try to survive for a turn, Loki once per but turn... But Loki wouldn't have been on the field if I was going to survive for a turn. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it wouldn't <laughs> have been there. All right, let's go first. Let's go second. Just because, like, this, I'm not... I don't know. <laughs> All right, good news. I got a, I got a dark summoning beast. Let's do a Xylo and do that. <laughs> yeah, and man. <laughs> All right. Um, so I can do a few things here. Now I got so many good setup things. It's, it's that kind of thing. All right, we're gonna painful decision. Oh wait, no. From my deck to the graveyard. Why can I not activate this? Normal monster. Oh, normal monster. Not gonna oh, lie, you don't some, have... someone said this would be a great thing, and I read it quickly and was like, oh yeah, then I can send my Armageddon Knight to the graveyard and then get another one back. Now that I'm thinking... You don't have any normal monsters. That's actually a dead card. And you know what we do with dead cards, Mario? What? Nothing. You set it down. No. <laughs> hey. Set it down is a bit... No, I got a better plan for it. Um, so what do I want to send from the deck to graveyard? Because I got a Foolish Burial here. I actually don't have any defensive power right now. But let's see what we can pull out with the Foolish Burial. Hmm. Because um, I could send one of my uh, beasts to the graveyard, but I don't want to do that just yet. Let's see. I could send a Dark Summoning Beast to the grave, and that's kind of what this is meant for. But I don't have any summoning power for any of those. Uh, so really... Pff... Yeah, I think I'm just going to send a Dark Summoning Beast out there, because there's not other any great move I can do. Unless I had, like, Phantom of Chaos on deck. Uh, but you know yeah. what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna gamble a little bit this game. I don't think I'm going to get Armatile out. Chance nah, I gotta... Nah, I wanna... I gotta have to try it. Not the smartest move for me to do, but... We're gonna try an Armatile victory here. Okay. And uh, we'll go ahead and... Uh, set to be one fair, card. none of my monsters can match it in attack power. <laughs> yeah. And I... I can do it, but yeah, we'll do that and end the turn. Ooh, what's you? What's your waiting on? Oh, I guess it's your uh, that same card you've been using, isn't it? Yeah, Glyphnir. All right. Uh, so Glyphnir, add a monster from deck to hand. Okay. Oh, this will be fun. Okay. Okay. I'm so happy right now. Hmm. I guess. What do you need for your combo? I guess just a Mara. All right. Can't really do anything else though, so I'll switch my Trajaneer in attack oh. mode. Hit me with. And win. just attack, yeah. Well, now that you've gotten a card to your hand, let's activate some hand destruction. <laughs> You gonna cancel it? You know what? No, I'm gonna play, actually do something smart right now. Return that to my hand. So it's a better chance that you'll protect. Okay, it's not the smartest, but it's smart. It's clever. Okay, I'll say it's clever. Hey, you nailed it. Good play, bro. Good play. 
And let's oh, no, see. I'm able to choose. I'm able to choose the cards I get. Oh, yeah, you can choose. Okay, yeah, you're good. You're good then. I forgot that. Um, yeah, there's certain cards in my hand I want to protect, need so. This guy. Eh, no, I don't actually need you. We'll send reinforcement army to the grave. All right. Okay. Then we yeah, I was thinking that I didn't even plan on doing that with hand destruction, but I saw it on the field when you brought something to your hand, and I was like, this is actually clever. Look at that. But yeah, you made a, <laughs> a clever move in return, and you saved your really good card at the same time. So good good work. Um, all right. Let's, uh, let's play a Xylo move here, shall we? <laughs> Patent pending. Yep. Mm-hmm. Pending. And I guess I might as well just pop the uh, Dark Summoning Beast, because there's only one card I want in my hand anyway, and that's going to be Oreo. Ooh, is he already available? I don't know. He could be. I, w I wouldn't bluff, do you, Mario? I wouldn't. <laughs> Any anyone calling that out as a lie right now? I'm pretty sure everyone in the comments are. Do not <laughs> what do remember you mean Fight you Club? wouldn't bluff, Silo? That's all you do. End main phase. Oh, already? Okay. All right, so you got some stuff out there. Um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, so, heavy but, storm. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, okay. So. Huh. There's some things I want to do, but I can't do because I, like, haven't drawn any monsters. Um, but I think what, what's going to happen here is, um, what should I do? Yeah, I have to end my turn, actually, so. I got none. I mean, I have everything. Right. Twelve fairy boxes on the field right now. Ooh, so that might be your flip, dude. You might be setting up right now. I wish it was the flip dude right now. Okay. So it's I probably guess. your dude you send to the grave and do some madness. Um, Just another right. white one, yeah. Let's see if this card's destroyed by balance sent to the grave. Yeah, yeah, that's what he does. Okay. Alright. Let's see what you got. Let's attack with a normal goat. Mm hmm. Let's start the fairy box train! <laughs> oh my god. Destroy it, I dare you. See what comes next. <laughs> Nothing. Is that permanent too, or? Nah, I'd one turn. All right. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> I don't know why I just wanted to use fairy box. I had other plays I could have made that would have stopped it. Cause you uh, know fairy box annoys me. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm surprised that's not in your Fight Club deck, man. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do a play here. Yeah, we're paying for fairy box. I would totally put fairy box in the Fight Club deck. What we're gonna do here is, you know, I'm gonna end my turn again. I really? Got my, I got my plans. Cause I don't want to attack you, you know. Hmm. I'll set this card down. Let's risk the fairy box again. All right. Let's see. I'm actually instead of that, I'm gonna activate Battle Fader. Ah, I, I just decided to throw in. Yeah. So now I have a monster on the field finally. Let's see, heads. It's still zero. <laughs> it's not even that. You canceled out my attack, so it didn't even yeah, matter. Yeah, fairy box really didn't matter at all, and I was like, eh, whatever. Um, okay, so that's that. Um, oh wait, now I see what I wanted to do. Yeah, we're paying for fairy box. Okay, honestly, yeah, we're uh, <laughs> ending. Oh wait, no, no, I can do some cool stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, normal summon our boy. Dark Summoning Beast. Let's see. You got something for him? Mm, nah. Okay. Alright, I'll let you solemn one of my Sacred Beasts then. And let's see. Which one am I willing to lose? I guess... Let's get the ham out here, eh? Um, actually, no, we'll, we'll get ravioli on the field. Make it happen. Oh, fiendish chain. Okay, negate that monster's effects. Also, it cannot attack. When it's destroyed, destroy the card. That's fine. 
<laughs> All right. So now we're going to, uh, yeah, let's try some things. Let's drop a call of the haunted. Are you able to activate it again? I don't know. No, I'm not. Okay, that's fine. And now let's go ahead and let's get our little kitty cat out here. And let's make it a uh... fiend. Yeah, we're doing things now. Um, but actually, judging by the field, I think I'm just going to calm myself down this turn. Because I don't want to get rid of my fairy box to bring out Oreo. So we're going to just do that for now. And I will end my turn. My, my dude can't attack anyway. And I want to know if I can use Dark Summoning Beast next turn. I'm going to have to survive an attack with through Fairy Box, but we'll see. Ah, so he's about to do the thing, any? He? Yep. Uh, doing the thing. Thor about to come out? Pot that's the potential play, but I have a okay, better idea. Okay, something else. Okay. Bring him out. Then... Oh, we about what to see it? a guy I haven't seen? Yep. I'm gonna bring out Vanitas. Oh, man. It's a tuna. Oh, no effect, sorry. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fiendish chain, killing it. Yeah. Because uh, the thing about Vanitas is she counts for all three. Oh, man. I don't even know what's about to come out. Yeah, it could be any of the three. So, bro, I know it could have been regardless. You know, I'm just gonna go with the biggest man, Big Odin. Oh yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and solemn. <laughs> That's why I was waiting, sir. That's why. Hmm. Touche. Touche. <laughs> Oh, no, that went away, too. All right, you in good shape. Good revenge. <laughs> good vengeance. Uh, I, was again. Sitting on that, I was sitting on that card for You so were sitting long. on it, but it was just like, fine, I don't even care if it's the best move right now. Revenge. Yeah, <laughs> um, just yeah petty we need to keep vengeance. fairy box out here. Um, oh, man. Darn it. Let's see, what can I do from the grave? Well, I guess I might as well Dark Summoning Beast, because he's not going to do anything from the grave, is he? Potentially not. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to bring out the big ham, but we'll see. What is he? Is he the one with the... No, he's continuous a continuous spells. spell cards. Yeah, I should have brought him out earlier, but... Because I don't have continuous spell cards in this deck. It's fully reliant on the, uh, Dark Summoning Beast. Yeah. Not the easiest one, is it? Nah. Yeah. Oh, wanna test your luck against some fairy box? It's fun. <laughs> Um, no answer. I don't want none of your fairy box. Shut up. Yeah, I'm, even if I were to get breakthrough, it's just 800 points right now. Mm -hmm. And then potentially I'm losing a Let's defensive see. monster right now. All right. I kind of feel like I got to make a play here. I'm going to be big risky this turn. Real big and risky. Because like if this goes out, if this goes sour, nothing. And you got three spell and traps on the field. But the point is, like, I'm going to need to play us eventually, and I don't think I have anything that will successfully bait you. So, I might as well just do it. Let's drop our Fallen Paradise. Okay. And, unfortunately, we're going to have to do things like this. We'll get the Anguish Pattern up here. Don't have any... Oh, are we, are we seeing him? Yeah, about to bring out the big Oreo. So, do you have a counter? Like, I'm going to do it. Just don't. <laughs> so, I got final attack orders on the field. Now, we got those three can bring out the Oreo. Should have a yeah. massive amount of attack points. But does Fallen Paradise protect me? Nope. Okay. So now that you're in attack mode, I'll normal summon my Armageddon Knight. This was my plan all along. I don't think so. No! If I'm going down, you're going with me. Alright. Um, let's see. So I can send a card from the deck to the graveyard. I have nothing else to do. Um, so let's get our last Dark Summoning Beast out, because he can't do anything anymore. Uh, actually, no, I How guess many... he's my only chance of getting Haman out. So, uh, let's just send our Dark Refer to the grave, because he's not going to do anything. <laughs> really just sending a dead card to the graveyard. Alright, Battle Face. 
Are you just slapping me or something? <laughs> Nothing. That was my slapping you or something, and you didn't let me. <laughs> oh, uh, man. This deck is uh, way too specific. Oh, no! Uh, uh, I can't bring back Odin. Yeah, you can't bring you out can't a big guy, but still. Let's bring out Vanitas, actually. All right. Can you activate the effect, though? A Vanitas effect? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, mm. Call of the Haunted is a card I always feel like it's like, oh, but it cancels your effect. Because, like, for so many duels, I've used the card, the dinosaur version of that card. And that makes it so it cancels your effect. So. That's that. Alright, you yeah. got some guys out here. Can you drop a big 4K? I don't think there's any cards I could draw right now that would... S Actually, no, there's one. I could draw something that would save me. Save okay, me. well, this is the best move right now. Alright. So we got... Okay, just some damage, I'm guessing. Yeah. So, no effect, just doing its thing. Yeah. I like it. So, alright, big draw. I want. I need one of those little slimy dudes. And destruction, when I don't have any cards. One more oh. turn, give me one more round. One more round. One more round. <laughs> <laughs> alright. Alright. So... Reliability in this deck still bad. I should just try to make it good at some point. Like, yeah. I did some subtle changes. You, you tried. Yeah, just to make it less super specific, but it's still mad specific. Alright, get rid of my Statue of Anguish pattern. This'll do it. I'm not gonna lie, I have a Sword Revealing Light in my hand, but I'm not gonna play it this turn because you were nice enough to give me a turn. Yeah, but that could be a mean trap card, though. <laughs> it is. You know exactly what trap card that is. I'm gonna Ready bait it. Coin, sir. Of course, you run more than one, though. Oh yeah, <laughs> too much fun. It's not the best card in the deck, but it's my favorite, hands down. All right, That's if you a... call it, if I call this call wrong, you win. Heads. No. Not today, Mario, not today. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I could have just played swords, but nope, fairy box. It's more fun. Alright, Dark Summoning Beast I drew. Awesome. Let's pay for fairy box. Honestly, I'm just gonna Should I drop the swords now? I, mean, yeah, I gave you a round always... of chance. We'll drop swords. I'm just not trying to lengthen things out when my doom is here, but like you still got cards, you still got plays, you still got the field. You got another one of those little dudes. Yeah. Oh man. Okay, they do count in the hand. I have two level fours for the Loki, but one of them's a tuner. Oh. Uh, okay. I was hope it just says Nordic monsters. I was hoping that you know, even if they're so, tuners, oh, so, maybe good. Ah, uh, so that doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, I can't do anything, so I'll just end. All right. Do I pay for Fairy Box? I think I'm not going to, because if Sword stays on the field, I'll run Fairy Box down anyway. As much as I hate to do it. Um, Alright, but let's yeah, hit that you're, Fairy Box You're down. low on life points right now, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm real low. It's nasty. Might as well just summon this guy out, then, since he's not yeah, that sure. great in the hand right now. Yeah, that's the guy. Um, actually, no, it's one of your guys' effects that uses him in the graveyard, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You can, like, banish him and cancel stuff or something. Yeah. Nor Goldfax is for Thor. Mara is for Loki. And, gotcha. uh, you I sent it, you had to be sent it to the grave Valkyrie in there. And Vanitas mm -hmm. is our for Odin. Like, okay. if I had Odin right now, I have three revives in the grave for him. Oh, nice. Alright, let's see this here. What I drew? Tiki Curse. I'll set that down. Mainly, I'm just trying to call the haunted right here, see what I can do. Up, oh, nothing. <laughs> can you even bring back your Dark Summoning Beast? We do not have. No, I think there. Are, I think those three cards out of play are Dark Summoning Beasts. Oh, and all three Skate Sacred Beasts are in the grave mm -hmm. too. Yep. To be fair, you did bring out all three technically. By bring out, you mean throw them from hand to graveyard? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I was about to do a hundred life points of damage to you. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, yeah, on the turn. Still riding on a lot of hope. 
Okay, I think I know what I need to do. I'll tribute the gold facts for this. And when that one's tribute summoned, I can bring a Nordic monster back to my hand. Let's see. Okay. Now you can bring someone out with Mara, right? Yeah. That's what you're on about. Okay. Is uh, Loki coming? The only one I can do, yeah. All right. That I was going to be bottomless right now. <laughs> no lie. Yeah, no, I'm not running a bottomless. That's the thing. This deck doesn't have generic support. Oh, don't do this to me. <laughs> do this, and I'll destroy your swords. Okay. Darn it. Now yeah. let's have the big bad Loki. Luck, anyway. Nope, Tiki Curse. Nope, Loki effect. A cancel my effect, is that it? Tra cancel one trap card that would activate oh, during yeah. the battle Beautiful. phase. I was just, uh, you would have killed me with Black Rose anyway, but yeah. Oh man, you just having like basic traps and spells just counters this deck still. Yeah, not only that, like the fact that didn't even get to bring out Armital this time, this time around. Yeah, oh, you were Zeus close though. Was fun. Yeah, it was real close. I just needed to get one more of the guys out because I, I yeah, was I... easily in position of two on the field. Um, and then like if I was still running this full Armital setup, I would have had like um, Elemental Hero Prisma in here, which could essentially do that, just act like the card. And I didn't draw any of those little slimy things that let me take the stats of something in the graveyard. In yeah, either of the, these duels. Uh, I've had Phantom, so many right? sacred beasts in the grave. It's so sad. Yeah, Chaos Phantom, basically. And yeah. I got three banished of one, 4,000. I got 14 attack. cards left, and three of those are Chaos Phantoms I didn't draw. Did you draw any last game, too? No. No, I think I drew you... one last game, like, at the first turn. But uh, Okay. So, before I could use them. So, yeah, I don't want to over-exaggerate, but still, it's a shame. Some poor luck here, but also you just, you know, playing well and having the right cards. Thank you guys for watching, of course, another Duel of the Gods. Let us know in the comments uh, what style of god cards you want to see us fight each other with next. I know we got a couple other of these decks laying around, and I'm sure some we can improve a little bit using your guys' help. Right. Aside from that, Mario, you got anything to say? Um, other than if you just want to see maybe some singular gods, I have a Nordic deck, but like they did with the Sacred Beasts, I couldn't make yeah. like one for Loki, one specifically for Thor, one specifically for Odin. If you guys want to see that, maybe just yeah, say it down I'm below. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like my Oreo deck is more, much more reliable than this deck. Yeah, because it's supporting Oreo, it's not trying to do all three. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So let us know if you want to see some specific gods fighting again. We've done it before, we can do it again. But we'll see you guys next time.